Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm with my beautiful oh, mum shit. today and I'm going to basically recreate this look that I've got on my face right now onto my mum, basically turning my mum to me. The only problem is that she isn't going to have the blue hair because I don't think she wants to be dying her hair blue, to be honest. All right, so let's get started. So I'm taking this, I don't know what this is. This is the twice as nice double brow pencil. I got it for Christmas. It's like some cheap stuff, but it's really good. So I'm going to change the shape of my mum's eyebrows with this. So how's your day today, mum? Pretty normal. Housework, playing the dog out. It's good. Where are you going with that thing? It's, I'm, I'm, I'm using your natural eyebrow shape at the moment. <laughs> Calm down. Let me look. Okay, it's definitely a lot thicker. I'm, I'm going to fill it in with something else. Though. So. I'm using my mum's like natural eyebrow shape. <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> what she has left of it. Um, just on the bottom, and then I'm making it a bit bigger just on the top. My mum overplucks. That's why she's got these skinny eyebrows. But she's like, I'm gonna grow them out. No, she doesn't. Alright, so I finished with that now, and now I'm gonna fill my mum's eyebrows in with the NYX Tame and Frame like a tinted brow pomade and I'm going to use um, just like a normal angled like a normal angled brush and this colour is in brunette so usually I if I was to do my mum's makeup like if she was going out um, I would just use like her natural eyebrow shape because that's she doesn't like go overboard with her makeup and she was like I don't like highlight but I still give her a highlight I was like you know look like the team there no <clears throat> but like I just like making my mum glam but she doesn't like it so that's why I've taken advantage of this moment so she can do it for my YouTube channel so I'm just trying to get this all as straight as possible you've got really like thick eyebrows like you don't have a lot of them, but they're thick. Of course. The, yeah, of course. The hair is coarse. But they're very sort of sparse. Yeah. And so that's why, like, they're all sticking out. I oh, know. All right. Oh, oh no. you're no, getting cute, no. Mum. Okay. So now I'm finished with that. I'm going to carve out my mum's eyebrows, but instead of concealer, I like to use my L'Oreal Palace Infallible Total Cover Foundation, and this is in number 10 porcelain. I just know at some point during filming this, that's gonna come in. Oh, my skin, please. Right, let's just put this on your eyelid. Alright. Oh, sorry, does that hurt? <laughs> I have very delicate eyes after having lasered. Oh, sorry. So now I'm gonna do the top. Conceal the top bit. <laughs> Alright. Always got a nice spot up there. Also, Mum, I apologise if you get pink eye because I didn't clean my brushes. Oh, that's charming. <coughs> Give me an eye infection. Alright, so now that we've <coughs> done that, wait, let me just quickly get a little bit more foundation just on the side. Um, I'm just going to quickly set the um, eye, the foundation on the eyes using the same fluffy brush and the L'Oreal True Much, True Much powder. And whose powder is that? Yours. Yes, yeah, it's this one. Um, yeah, just to set the uh, went for a walk from my bedroom. <laughs> my mum's got crinkly eyelids because she's <laughs> old, so this may look different on her than obviously on <laughs> top. <Thanks. laughs> it's fine. <laughs> the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using is the Morphe 35 0 palette. This was a present for me from my friend David. Dave. I'm gonna be using this top uh, right shade here. This is my favorite color, this is like the reason why I bought this. I should have had it. I didn't buy it. Oh, so this I should have had it. Um, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna apply this in the crease. This is what I'm doing. Everything that I've done. Don't you put any foundation on first? No, I do eyes first, just in case there's any fallout, and then you want to go into the foundation and mix with it. That's what I always do. 
So I'm just using you know, just like a regular fluffy eyeshadow brush just to blend this into the crease. I guess there's a transition colour, but I don't have time for transition colours. So now I'm going to use a slightly smaller, um, what's it called, fluffy brush. So I'll take this one here and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this, so the one, two underneath the one I just used now. Um, and I'm going to put this in the middle, not in the middle, the inner corner and outer corner because I'm going to do a halo look on my mum's eye. Spotlight, I mean, not halo. Um, <coughs> oh, wrong shadow. Here we go. It's coming in. So, yeah, I'm uh, putting this in the crease. My dad's here. Okay, so at this point, my dad came in and he was being very, very loud, but I'll just say that for the makeup look, I put a darker colour in the inner corner and outer corner of my my mum's eyes um I don't know I can't really remember what time my dad left but that's what I'm doing at this point so yeah I basically cut out what he was doing because it was annoying so sorry about that and I'll let you get on with the video I'm just gonna quickly add I'm gonna use can I open my eyes yeah yeah I'm gonna take <coughs> a nice light like, show you um, this bone white colour here on my mum's brow bone just to highlight and also to pretty much set the um to set the concealer we put there earlier and I'm just going to quickly use the brush and blend that so it's not just so light there so now we're getting on to the fun part um I'm going to, where's the, um, the brush I used? Hmm. Oh, I just used another brush then. Right, I'll use this one. And it's like another flat um, shader brush, pretty much. And I'm going to take uh, this colour here. It's like a very pretty pinky champagne shimmery colour and I'm going to put that on the spotlight area just to uh, make it glittery and pretty and it's like it matches the whole like orangey colour because they're all pretty much like the same colour so yeah now I'm just gonna quickly line my mum's like la lash line at the top but just very thinly um, I don't want too much And no, no light uh, flick as well. So the foundation brush I'm going to be using is the Real Technique Stick Pin Brush. And just put some like, do some dots around your face. I didn't use that much foundation today, so it just looks very flawless because you know I'm just a flawless person. <laughs> yeah, so those are my Yeah, moves. be calm on my face because my face needs to <laughs> Big cover up. Don't say that, Mum. You're very beautiful. You don't oh, need it. It feels like. But because I'm not wearing that much foundation, I'm gonna have a lot of foundation on my mum so she looks glam. I'm just gonna blend this in. If it's way too light, we can easily just bronze up and it'll be fine. Now we're going to put, do concealer, and I use the um, Emmy Way, like the Makeup Academy, Cover and Conceal Concealer. I got this like recently because I ran out of my collection, Last and Perfection, which you all know that is my favourite. Um, but I didn't have the, well, I did have the money to pay for this, but they didn't have any stock, so I had to get this. But I don't really like it, but just got to deal. And I'm just going to take this fluffy uh, concealer brush just to blend this. Now I'm going to contour and instead of using that setting powder, I'm going to use um, this one that's in the palette here. I don't know if you can see. And this is by W7. This is Shape Your Face Contour Kit. It's what my mum got me for 
for Christmas. And honestly, even though it's like really cheap, it's so amazing. So I'm just gonna look up, just set underneath the eyes where the concealer was. And this doesn't have flashback, which is amazing. And it's also very, very pigmented, so. That's good, that's good. So we're just setting underneath there. And I'm using this like angle brush, which it came with, and I really like this as well. Also just powder down the nose. Okay, and now we're going to contour. I'm going to use the same palette. And I'm going to use the cool toned um, one to do my cheekbones. Do that. You don't need to, actually, you've got good cheekbones already. I'm just, you know, enhancing them. So, I'm going to be using the Sleek Celeste. Is that how you pronounce it? Don't look at your face. We're Gucci. It just stopped for a second, but it's fine. I've got, I've got it back on. So, solstice. 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 I'm using the Sleek Solstice palette, and I'm going to use the same brush that I use to contour and highlight underneath. And I'm going to use this like orangey color, and I'm also going to put a little bit of the purple on top as well because I like mixing those two because they're super blinding and beautiful. Yes, Marvel. Is that what you're doing? It's so much fun. All right, now do the other side. Oh, it's my foot. Ugh! Oh, you gripped my toe. All right. Um, I'm also going to take a slightly smaller brush. I like to use this for a bit more uh, controlled like application, and I'm just going to. Really define some certain parts so it's super super blinding. So you prefer like more matte skin, don't you? Like, do you prefer if it's matte or like if you've got like a it's like shine? No. Yeah, so you prefer matte, yeah. No. So hopefully this will change my mum's mind. So I'm gonna put a little oh. bit on my nose as well. My mum hates this bit, but I have an intense nose highlight and I put it on the bridge as well. Sorry, and then even though I'm not wearing lipstick, I wanna accentuate Cupid's bow. Um, I've got one of them. <laughs> neither do I, one's fine. And uh, now I'm going to use the purple shade just because this one's like the most purple intense. Shade. Purple shade. Um, because this one's like the most intense, I feel like. So I just like to pop this like right on the. Oh, you're annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly um, just define underneath my mum's eyes. With this colour. Okay, on the left side, and I'll blend this out in a little bit. And I'm finished. Make sure you connect the sides as well. You don't want that like gap. And then I'm going to take a small, um, what is it? Like a really small uh, blending brush. And with no, with like, well, it's obviously got product on it, but I'm not adding anything additional and just blending out underneath. Don't worry, I'm not going to poke for you, are I? So I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara. It's amazing. It's my favourite. Look up. Or like, look down, but have your eyes in there. Mum's got really, really long eyelashes. But I forgot to bring my eyelash curler down with me, so... What's left? We're done. If you just really quickly um just remove some of the foundation. Ugh. So um let's do a bit closer. So this is my mum's finished look. Um 